Hey guys, like promised, in this video I will be showing you guys how to downgrade iOS 7 back to iOS 6 and get a stable firmware running again. Now this will work on any iPhone 5, 4S, 4, you know, basically any device capable of running iOS 7, including the iPads and iPod Touch 5th generation. So this is a very easy process, I mean there's no requirements other than that you be on iOS 7 and want to get back down to iOS 6. Now this will work until the official release of iOS 7, so once iOS 7 has has been officially released by Apple, this will cease to work because you know it relies on iOS 6 still being a valid firmware. Anyways, with your iPhone plugged in, let's go ahead and head over to our computer. Now you will need to download your appropriate iOS 6 firmware that you will be downloading to. So if it's an iPhone 5, that would be iOS 6.1.4. If it's any other iPhone, that would be 6.1.3 and all other iPads and iPod touches. And of course, I will have a link to where you can get your firmware down below in the description. So with that downloaded, go ahead and open up iTunes and we're gonna go ahead and put our iPhone into DFU mode. Now I have noticed that putting your device into DFU mode actually is a more consistent way to restore or downgrade your iOS device. If your power or home button doesn't work, you don't have to do this. I mean, you can go ahead and just select your firmware and restore on iTunes. But for everyone else that does have working power and home buttons, let's go ahead and do this. So hold the power and home button together for 10, 9, 8, 7, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let go of your power button and keep holding the home button for about 15 seconds or until you do notice that your iDevice is in iTunes. So I'm just gonna keep holding it and there you go. You will get the screen iTunes has detected an iPhone in recovery mode, that's okay. Now on a Mac computer, we're gonna hold option and left click restore iPhone. If you're on Windows, that's gonna be shift. Go ahead and navigate to that iOS 6 firmware that you did download. Go ahead and select restore. Now this will take about five to 10 minutes and once it's done, I will be right back. Make sure not to bother your iPhone, just leave it alone for a few minutes. And there you have it, my iPhone 5 is back on iOS 6.1.4 so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you right there 6.1.4 and bam it was as simple as that guys so there's not much to it really simple you can do this as long as iOS 7 the official version is not out so there you go guys I do hope this did help you so please like this video it would help me in return leave a comment if you have any questions and subscribe if you haven't already for many more videos have a great day guys enjoy iOS 6 again peace